um, I would not have left the country. I mean, that's what political leadership is all about. Um, and when there's a crisis, you have to be here. When you're the chief executive of the state and the chief, chief executive of the city. Especially when the state has contributed so much money to this process. Um, but it's not just about money. Although money is an important part of it. It's about real oversight. And again, for the chief overseer who gets paid $200,000 a year as part of his salary to, to make sure that this, state, this city is run right, for him to answer that his problem is, is he's only here to balance the budget and not to deal with anything else um, is, uh, is wrong. Um, and he's basically um, derelict in his duties as is the mayor. Very simple, if I had a crystal ball and I could predict the future, will I not only not take a vacation, but I will try to prevent things from happening. Unfortunately, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't think anybody has it. So who's there who can predict that something's going to happen while you're gone for a couple of days? And on the other hand, I will tell you, I'm a human being like everybody else. Have anybody give me any, uh, any uh, good praises because I haven't taken a vacation in years? No. Have any, anybody has said anything that we've been working for seven, eight months straight since, you know, right after I got elected to try to fix the problem? No. So am I different than any other human being? So because I'm a major, I have to be uh, handicapped and be held hostage in a corner just because I have to dream that something might happen? That's not the case. Now, I'm the mayor and I know my responsibility is much greater than many other uh, citizens of the city. And with that, I take responsibility. On the other hand, Again, I, I'm, I'm a human being like you and anybody else, so, but if the critic feel that I am, I'm not uh, entitled to taking a vacation, uh, come on, my friend, let, let's be fair.